Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to thank all my subscribers for liking and sharing and commenting and also giving me feedback. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So today we're going to make a Diwali dish. I guess it's a Diwali appetizer, I should we're say. We're going to make chopped up sahina with pomsite chutney. Of course, the pomsite is in my backyard. So I am going to use an easy method, an easy way that we normally do in Trinidad. In Trinidad, we will, we will get the taro or dashing leaves. But today I'm going to use spinach. Frozen spinach thawed, drained, uh, thawed and drained. So this is the frozen spinach, if you can see it properly. Of course, I get this at any, you can get this at any Spanish supermarket. So here we go. I'm going to start adding all the other items to this. Give it the mixture and we will have fry it after. I have some, a cup and a half oil, avocado oil going here. It's on... It was on medium. I'm going to put it on low until I do the mixture because the mixture has to sit for an hour. So I am going to add, here we go. I'm going to add one cup of all purpose flour, one cup of grind split peas or grind dal flour. Some people add chickpeas or chana flour but I don't have so I'm going to add a little I'm going to add a quarter cup more flour or purpose flour a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of bacon powder a teaspoon of yeast instant yeast half teaspoon of turmeric powder and I'm going to bring all this together with about a cup and a half of water but I'm going to slowly add the water to this so we're going to slowly add the see the texture because we want a sticky texture so I add like three quarter cup and I'm going to keep stirring it after that in cocoa, I'm going to add now some fresh green seasoning that I have ready so this is the green seasoning I'm now going to add, uh, let's see. About three, about four tablespoons of that green seasoning. Mix it now, mix it again. Like I said, you need a, a sticky dough, not a runny dough, and not like if you're making bread. So this could use the rest of the water. So I'm going to mix this. If you think it's a little soft, after the hour, you can sprinkle a little bit of the additional flour that I said we had a little extra in case. You can add some of that. So I'm going to set this aside for like an hour, but I had already made, prepped some this earlier today. So it was sitting for like about two hours ready to fry that's why i have the oil of course all right i'm gonna set this aside and get the one that i had this is the texture you see when you pick up the spoon it's not even falling you know so it will make a nice patty you actually want to make it like a patty make sure your hands are clean make sure the oil is hot to test the oil i'm gonna put a little bit of curry leaf in it or one leaf to see if it so i think it should be good that bubble up a little fast so make sure your hands are clean and everything so I'm going to put a little bit of avocado oil in my hand to make the patties take a spoonful you make the patties however whatever size you want like I will try to do it like the palm of my hand oh I forgot to tell you I have my brown bag ready to drain the oil with some napkins in. This is it, I, my brown bag. If you don't use the brown bag, just use it for when you're frying items. So I have it ready there. This is the patty, very, this is 
ideal this came out really really well let's see if it will I'm gonna put it on medium to high now very nice I have this on medium to high I wouldn't turn it as yet I'll wait until it sort of lifts off the oil and then we can be able to turn it. You wanna make more, of course, you can add, you double up the recipe. Recipe, description, everything will be on, um, on my YouTube chat, on my YouTube video. So I have two more here, so this it raised. Guys, I'm using avocado oil here, but use whatever oil you have. Wanted to get a little more brown, and this is looking so. I don't miss the dashing leaves or taro leaves, as some people know it as. I don't miss it because whatever we need to use those leaves, I use spinach, whether it's kalalu or this or baji, I use spinach. I put a little more heat because it needs a little more brown. You want to fry it well so that it is not raw or flowery inside. So it has to fry more. See that is very light. You want to get it a nice dark brown. In the meantime, while that is frying, that sahina, cut off sahina, I pick some some young pomsite from my the tree, my tree. And I'm going to make some chutney with it in the in the blender. So this in here is about six small, very small pomsite. I will add some. I'm going to add about eight cloves of garlic to this. Pepper to taste. I like it spicy, so I'm going to add like half a hot pepper. And um, Let's see, maybe some, I think that's it. Let me add, I don't want to put, let me add some water. A cup of water and then I'm going to add salt. Add salt to taste, adjust it. So you put a little bit at a time. So I'm putting a little bit at a time there and then that's it. a little bit of avocado oil to that so that it doesn't change the color maybe a, a teaspoon now I'll taste this and see if it missing sore look at that two seconds to make pomsi tea chutney Pomsite chutney is just perfect. Some people might need it a little, with a little more salt, but it is just right. So we'll set this aside. When the sahina is done, we'll cut it into, put some chutney and eat it. Oh, looking nice. So I want the other side to look like this. Just if you don't like it this dark, please make sure you keep checking it to see what color you like. But keep it on low heat. Um, not low heat, medium to high. I don't have an average of how long to keep it is according to if you think it's cooked or if it's brown enough for you. So I'm thinking this is good. So we're going to drain it in the bag. So simple guys, so simple. This is the easiest sahina. Like I said, long time, all these Indian dishes used to be like if it's so, it's so difficult. But when you get the easy method, it's like nothing. One, two, three.
So guys, here is my special cut up sahina with spinach and pamsite chutney. This is how it looks after. Look, you see that heat coming out from it? Look at that, beautiful. Ah, my mouth is watering for it. This is it, this, let me put some of the chutney. Wow, it is so delicious. It's soft, it's crunchy. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Guys, thank you for watching my channel as usual. Thank you for leaving feedbacks and sharing my, my channel, my YouTube channel and making comments and liking and it's amazing. And I'm meeting people from all different parts of the world. I met someone, someone wrote to me uh, from South Africa, which is amazing. I'm getting a lot of people from, from Page, my hometown. So thank you guys. Keep writing, keep commenting, keep subscribing or sharing so that more people can subscribe. I really appreciate that. Try this and let me know what you think or ask any questions if you need to. Simple, easy, Sahina. See you next time.